is the White House is trying to spin it. Well, you know, all that stuff was right, but he probably should have had some caveats where he would have said, you know, you can keep your health care if it lives up to the new standards of the Affordable Care Act. They're blaming the and insurance the, companies. And that's one of the, well, what they're doing is they're, they're trying to spin themselves out of this hole that they have dug themselves into. They also said, you know, if you uh, have a policy, you will be grandfathered in. But then a couple of months later, what they did was they changed the law. What's interesting is, and I think uh, tonight, Sibelius, we're actually going to see tough questions, not only from Republicans, but from Democrats as well, because the Democrats have been pretty much hung out to dry. You know, it, in the beginning, the whole thing with the website, that caught them off guard. But now, with all these people who are facing cancellation, apparently the Democrats want to defend it, and they're trying to get information from the White House, but the White House won't give them guidance on how they should spin themselves out of this hole. Right. Well, they each have four minutes to ask yeah. questions of Sebelius today. They think they're going to be wrapped up by noon. They start at 9 a.m. Um, let's hope they use those four minutes wisely. Send us a, uh, at Facebook, what would you ask Sebelius based on how you've been affected sure. by Obamacare? Yeah. And if we're not here, we're going to go uh, on Facebook this hour. So if you don't see us out on camera, we're going to be back uh, talking to you uh, via the Facebook. That's what the kids call it. And I thought it was interesting in the Wall, in the Wall Street Journal today. They cite insurance provider Florida Blue who are canceling 300,000 uh, mm -hmm. bare bones insurance plans because they don't meet the standards of the Affordable Care Act. Right. So if the insurance companies walk away because they can't meet the standards of an act that was forced upon them, who's to blame? According to the administration, it's the insurance companies. Well, that's the grand design of Obamacare, to squeeze everyone out of their existing plans, to squeeze right. insurance companies so that they have an option to cut and run from the American people and put everyone into the system. Why? You see a because, grand design. Because everyone in the system who's there has to pay for it. So if you don't have anybody in the system, you got to get them in there. How do you do that? You squeeze them out of their existing situation. And where do they have to go? The new federal exchanges. And that perhaps mm. will be the saving grace because a lot of people can't get online, so they're gonna they're waiting in line right now. Meanwhile, she's uh, patiently waiting <laughs> over are. here with a fist.